So what's good, Straw Gang, and welcome back to another video. Now tonight, I'm going to be covering my 20 kill solo game that I got earlier today and breaking it down, you know, kind of just talking about what I'm doing in the gameplay in certain situations, how I'm managing to get high kills and kind of what my strategy is for it. And the reason I wanted to do this is for one, I just like sharing tips and tricks and, you know, sharing things with you guys, hence why I like uploading the class setup videos. I'll get a comment here and there talking about, you know, they don't play, well, people don't play solos because they don't like playing with, um, just by themselves and not playing with other people, then camping and not being able to get high kills. And it just, Generally not being too fun so I thought I would just get a 20 bomb gameplay in this because I think the average player uh, you know 0.8 KD maybe even just a 1 KD player probably isn't dropping 20 bombs in solos too often and I think to the average player a 20 bomb is considered like a high kill game and I'd say it's a, it's a pretty solid game for me there's also going to be little video chapters on the timeline so you can skip to whatever part in the video you want to see whether that's in game whether it's as soon as I get my loadout all that type of stuff so, so kicking off the gameplay breakdown we're going to be starting off landing at Boneyard now the two main reasons for this is first of all the plane was like literally right over boneyard and second of all i don't like landing superstore anymore it's just gotten worse and worse over the months more people just being very ratty holding you know lines of sight mounted up on whatever sitting in dark corners it's just a really annoying spot and even when i come out with four or five kills sometimes it can just be the rat waiting for me to leave you know i usually go to a gas station to get my loadout and there's just someone there waiting for me i die it gets me pissed off because i go through the whole th you know the whole process of getting five kills in superstore uh and and then I die to someone waiting for me to leave. So I don't go Superstore anymore if I can avoid it. Boneyard is my new go-to place and that's why I've landed here. Another reason is because also if you get Boneyard or Bounties in Boneyard, nine times out of ten for me personally, it's usually someone within the area. Boneyard's a pretty spread out place, but um, yeah, it's not going to put it too far away. The only way it can be a little bit further is maybe train station or out in the bunkers, but that's not too often, man. Nine times out of ten, it's within the area and obviously it's very convenient. You want that uh, and that's my little uh, breakdown about landing at Boneyard. So after a bit of looting, I hear someone outside in like the plain area where the parts are. You know, ADS walking so they don't hear me. Slightly opening, this, quietly opening the door and just popping out and killing him. Simple. He was probably AFK. I don't know what he was doing, but you know, the ADS walking and um, quietly opening doors can help quite a bit. And I don't know how good he is, right? That's the whole thing about a battle royale. Is you literally don't know what type of players you're coming across. Now, the reason I marked that out was because I saw someone shooting. You know, I saw a little red dot on the minimap indicating that someone did not have a suppressor on their weapon. And basically, what I messed up with here is that I didn't live ping him. Live pings are very helpful just so you can see when where the person's going when they're out of your sight. And then, you know, that would have actually helped me a lot because I popped dead silence thinking he was around this area. He didn't end up being here at all. And you'll see that literally right now. I try to listen for his footsteps, see if he's around anywhere, because this is a pretty good area uh, for hearing footsteps. You know, walking along the plane parts is very easy to hear. So that's another good part about Boneyard as well. You can pick out people. You don't have to sound hall really at all. Uh, it's very easy to hear them. And then I heard a, uh, a snapshot grenade and noticed he had made his way all the way over here, I think. Was it ended up him though? He ended up being behind me. So yeah, I don't know how he got over here or where he went to get around to, uh, to my side. And I just waited to see what he was going to do. He ended up pushing me and I just well, I picked him off, you know, sat on the heady. Uh, I, I listened to what he was doing to see, you know, if he was going to stay there, if I needed to reposition, if I needed to push him. Someone else is here yet again. So it's a pretty active area right now. I run back while I'm plating up to get behind some bit of cover here. And then boom, look at that. Couple jump shots and he's dead. I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory. I heard, you know, enemy dropping in, and so he pretty much had nothing. Now, the main thing that I do in solos, and that's very important, no matter what area you're in, is popping a UAV. Trust me, it has helped me so much. Even if you're like out in the middle of nowhere, there is a decent chance someone is with you as well. So no matter what area you're in, area you're in, pop a UAV if you can before you get the loadouts, because yeah, it's helped me a lot, man. So pretty simple, you know, I get behind cover, make sure I'm on the, uh, you know, I'm on the heady and pick them off. It's easy, simple. I'm looking for the, uh, the, the recon as well. We know a few things about recon players. And basically now that I've got my loadout, I got a free self res as well. From here on out, it is pretty much just popping UAVs and keeping them going because that's the main part with solos, right? If you're with teammates, you know, it's a little bit easier. You can, you can kind of give comms, you know, go out different areas of the map, split off if that's what you like to do. But in, in solos, it's really important to keep the UAVs running just so you can have a good idea of where people are. And so I saw he was rotating over to me, which is pretty nice. Got a free dead silence there. 
I was pretty confident that I was going to kill this dude as well. Like I said, we know about recon players, man. Nine times out of ten, they aren't too decent at the game. Of course, there'll be the one person here and there that's like a switch just doing it to, to bait people or something. And he ended up having a free UAV as well. Now, you saw I picked up that bounty and he's at fire tower, right? I do not bother anymore. I just don't care about pushing people that are in really awkward spots like that. I don't have an RPG to get him out of the tower. I only have one Semtex and it's just going to waste your time. One really important thing for getting high kill solos is not wasting your time. One thing that I've noticed very, very often and just like not even in Warzone, but Battle Royales in general is that games can just go like that, right? You don't, you don't know when the lobby is just going to die out of nowhere. And that's happened quite a lot. You know, I have a decent amount of kills with a decent amount of people left. And then the next time I look at it, you know, 20 people have died or something like that. And I'm like, oh shit, I need to step it up. Uh, so you don't want to waste any time for solos, man. You want to just be keeping the UAVs running, keeping the bounties running if you can. And uh, yeah, I, I just totally ignored him, right? So I saw there's two people here. One's above me. You'll notice the little arrow above the red dot on the minimap. I've only known about this for maybe a couple weeks now. E e e <laughs> easy pick off on this dude. He's a bit of a Timmy, bit of a Jimmy, whichever. Timmy Jimmy. So yet again, uh, the arrow does not display that he is above nor below me. So he's on the same level as me. I didn't I didn't uh, click on to the fact that he was going up the ladder. I should have. But yes, he ended up being on top. Or on the second level, actually. And yet again, it's just another really easy pick off. This guy wasn't, uh, you know, too, too hard to kill at all. Literally just whip out the Fafar. Bing, bang, bong. He's dead. Bounty's still at, you know, still at fire. I was going to give him the benefit of the doubt just checking here and there if he's actually moved. Because if he did, you know, depending on where he was, I would have gone there. Even if it was just like the buildings next to it, you know, with like the three or four stories, I would have, uh, I would have pushed him because I got dead silence. But yeah, there's just like no point going for people that are in awkward spots like that unless you have the lethals to do it, the stuns as well. You know, whatever you have, flashes, stuns, that's really good as well. Uh, or an RPG. Any, anything like that to get them out of those spots is definitely uh, good to have, but I don't really care, dude. I'm just, just going to ignore him. Going to end up getting more kills, you know, going and popping UAVs and keeping that flow going than trying to kill someone like him. So I see two people over here about to go at it. Most times I don't actually get over to the gunfight uh, before one kills each other, you know, before one's dead, which does really suck. This dude's running up the stairs. He don't want anything to do with me, but too bad. Now with this type of situation, this can really piss me off and something I've been doing for quite a while is if you have a Semtex, throw it at like the wall just above the, uh, the ladder. It can hurt them a lot as you can see it cracked his armor, but dude, like he can just still sit up there. That's the thing. I was about to leave this, but I really wanted to kill him. And thankfully in the end I did. But yeah, t this type of stuff you just need to get rid of. Get rid of your from your games, man. Don't wait around for people like that. I was lucky that he peaked at all because there's a lot of situations where they'll literally just sit until you leave and that is the worst. You just get out of those situations. So I know I've mentioned it a lot but keeping those UAVs rolling is really really important. Keeping the flow and the pace of the game. We got recon online. So some dude jumped down from one of the taller buildings and tried to pop me at the buy store and he it was just bad timing for him right? Like he, he jumped off the building thinking that I wouldn't peek him I guess or whatever I don't know. Don't know what he was thinking really. I'm in a much better position to kill him than he is to kill me. And it was actually a very convenient spot for the loadout drop to be on top of the roof because that literally means that I'm in a spot to get it without anyone killing me as I'm grabbing it. I'm sure a lot of that, I'm sure that has happened to a lot of you guys where, you know, your loadout drops in like an open-ish area and people just beam you as you're getting your weapons. So when it's on the roof, it's very easy to get. Very good and uh, very convenient. I should have mentioned this at the start. When you do buy your loadouts, if you're in an area that has like a low roof or like I was able to get my loadout drop there, chuck it on buildings and rooftops because then you'll be able to get them safely. It's another really important thing. Uh, so I thought I'd mention that now. And then this is just unfortunate right here. I hop out of my vehicle. Uh, I grab the bounty. And then the dude with ghost that I did pick up on the UAV, he was here just kind of chilling. You know, just waiting, I guess. Uh, because UAVs will pick people up at a 200 meter uh, range, I believe. I'm not sure how far it goes, but you can actually see people that have ghosts with the UAV. And you have to be more than 200 meters away. And then if you get any closer, it just goes. It's not there anymore. Same happens with advanced UAVs, but they fade away like really quickly. 
So at this point, I'm pretty bummed out because I just grabbed my ghost loadout as you guys saw, but the good thing about it, you know, going back to what I mentioned just before, is that it was on the roof and I was able to get my weapons in a safe, you know, closed off area. So I went back, I went back and got my, uh, my original loadout from my ghost class, which was my MAC-10 and my Diamatty. Someone's going ham on the fire sale. Now this whole part is very slow. I played this very, very slow because he's got ghost. I have no perks. He has the ability and the money to get UAVs from my, you know, from my cash that I dropped. Okay, I don't know what to do here. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. I'm thinking this dude's going to be still waiting for me. He hasn't left yet to try and pick off, you know, me coming back, pick off the kill from me coming back. And uh, I'm playing it very safe. I'm trying to check every angle, see if he's in any windows and stuff like that. And at this point, I just said, stuff it, dude. Like, if I die, I die, right? There's nothing I can do about it. If he's creeping around waiting for me, he's creeping around waiting for me, you know? It, it is what it is. Grab my weapons. Thankfully, he wasn't, like, that dude. If, uh, I mean, this gameplay wouldn't have, wouldn't have happened if he did, right? So I'm glad he didn't. Would have been very scummy. Very annoying. So I'm just waiting to see, like, if he's around here at all. Like, it's, it's you know, I've got to wait, man. I risked the trophy as well. I like, honestly, when I picked up that trophy, I was like, yeah, this is probably going to get me killed. This is his perfect time to uh, to pick me off when I'm when I'm tracking the trophy on the the rover. So once again, keeping the bounties flowing is very important. Bounties and UAVs, two most important things, and having a trophy on your vehicle as well. I've noticed people with C4s more often than uh, than re like you know recent couple months. Like it's it's creeping back up. The C4 is creeping back up, man. So now I'm very cautious with running C4 on my vehicles. Now, originally, I was going to drive over to this dude, but then I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to my bounty instead. The dude's, you know, nice and cozy in this house. And, uh, and I can get him. I can pick him off. I was confident about it. So I just ignored the dude in the, uh, in the Bertha and went to my bounty on the, in the house, in the house. This dude's just chilling in the roof and see, well, I mean, it wasn't C4, but it was an RPG. You know, the RPG C4 is coming back a bit, man. And this sneaky snake went up on the roof. I would have been totally dead if I didn't have that. You know, I would have been totally dead. Look at this critter. Freak. Absolute freak. Now, this dude's got balls trying to kill me. You know, I'm up on the roof. I've got a pretty good advantage. But I guess he has his truck to he glitch behind, so it's fine, you know, it's whatever. And that bounty did not give me a lot of cash. I wanted to try and get enough money for my loadout. Uh, but yet again, UAVs and bounties are the two things you want. And I'm like, you know what, I'm not going to save my money. Like, it's in-game, you know, like, it's kind of getting late. I've only got 12 kills with 24 people left. I'm trying to get this gameplay for you guys to showcase a 20-kill game. And I'm going to have to speed things up. So I'm like, you know what, frick it, dude. I'm grabbing a UAV. And originally I thought this guy was actually going to come over and, and try and beef with me, but no, he did not. He did not at all, boys. So at this point, I'm going full rush mode. I am absolutely taking on everyone that I can. You know, like I said, I've only got 12 kills, these 21 people left. I'm pushing absolutely everyone. I don't know what this guy was doing. He was doing some like phase rug onto tunnel type beat right here. He nearly picked me off too. Oh, oh no, he didn't. Okay. I thought he did. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing, man. He's logging down here. So at this point, I'm, I'm doing not too bad, right? I've got 13 kills with 19 people left. I only need to get seven of the 19 people. And uh, that, that, like, it's pretty manageable, especially when you've got that cash flow for the UAVs. Uh, it's very, very helpful. And unlucky for you if most people that are left have ghosts, because, like, fuck, you know, that, that sucks, man. And sorry if I keep repeating myself with a, the UAVs and the bounties. I'm just, you know, putting emphasis on them being very important for solos. Uh, you don't want to waste any time in keeping that flow of UAVs. Now, this is where it gets a little bit messy here. I, I, th I really thought I was going to die at this point. You guys will see why. So I'm just picking up a straggler out on the rocks, man. Very easy little pick. He didn't have a lot of health either. I think he was getting picked off by the dude at the buy store. I saw I saw a guy hop out of the truck. Then this dude was, you know, trying to run me over here. I was like, oh god. I really thought I was dead here. My my uh, rover left me. It just yeeted off when I hopped out. And I'm pretty sure this was the guy that I killed. This was my bounty here. Let's see if it was him. I'm pretty no, wasn't it? I don't know if it was. 
pop disease silence, easy pick. I was trying to get whatever streak that was, I, I thought it was a UAV. It ends up being a cluster, so that's not too bad, that's helpful, especially for those open area, you know, like out in the fields and trees, it's very helpful in this type of situation as well. So at this point, now that I don't have enough money for a uh, UAV or anything like that, I'm kind of just about to swap my vehicle and drive around looking for stragglers, looking for people just kind of sitting beside trees, you know, on the edge, uh, edge of like the zone-ish around where I am. I mean, I heard someone pop a UAV. Now, something about the UAVs that I want to mention is that when it says, you know, enemy, enemy UAV over here, when you hear that voice line, it means that someone's popping a UAV that's around you. So you've got the buy store up in the top left and then the one in this little uh, village, I guess you not village, but you know, this, whatever you want to call it, right? I don't know what the fuck it's called, but you can see the, uh, the, the buy store there. So it was either one of those two. I'm not too sure of the radius or how far they have to be for it to say that, but usually when I hear that, I'm just going to go to any uh, buy store around me. So that is why I went there. That's a good tip as well. This dude almost fries me, but um, yeah, look at that dude. That almost fried me. So that's why I went there, if anyone wondered. You know, it's kind of a bit of a random thing to do if you don't know about the UAV stuff. I got a bit of cash from that guy, and then this was just an easy pick. He was, he was a bit of a Timmy, you know, a bit of a Timmy. And then I got a huge bag from that. 15, 15k. That is that is good for a loadout drop and a UAV. The reason I'm also not getting self res is because like I said, I'm in full rush mode. I don't want to waste money on a self res. I want to be pushing people, dropping my UAVs, and just uh, getting those kills, man. Getting those kills. See, because if I have, had have bought uh, self res, I wouldn't have known this guy was here. You know, I wouldn't have even checked. I don't think. Who knows? I probably would have because I usually check around me uh, when I drop a when I drop a loadout. And at this point, I'm like, all right, I've already got my UAV. I've got an idea of where someone is. I've got my loadout. You know, I got ghosts and everything. Now I'm gonna buy a self res because they are important and good to have around end game. We've got ten people left, so uh, this is when I'd you know ideally want my uh, my self res. Even just having an idea of, of where someone is is enough for me. I just don't want to aimlessly drive around, you know. And even though I could have waited for the free one, yes, but it's like, I just wanted it right there and then, you know, I wanted to get it as quick as I possibly could. So now I'm one kill off the 20 bomb, which is my goal for this video. I wanted to showcase a 20 kill gameplay, win or not, doesn't matter. Um, because this isn't actually how to get wins with high kills, it's just focusing on getting high kills and being aggressive uh, in solos. Now even though just popping my heartbeat isn't the most effective thing, I also noticed someone, uh, the little red dot on the minimap where the buy store is. So something with precisions, I don't think it happens with clusters, but with precisions, when someone uses it, if they're near you, uh, a little red dot on the minimap will pop up showing where they actually put it or where, where it came from. And then you can see he must have put it like, he must be around there. Because the cluster's literally just landing on the house. And then unfortunately, this is this is my downfall, this is my demise. I got third partied. It sucks. So I hop out, absolutely roll this dude. And then as soon as I kill him, literally as I'm shooting him, I get th I get third partied. I get picked off. But we dropped the 20 bomb. We dropped the 20 bomb. And the most painful thing about all of this is I spectate him and he's got eight kills or oh, pain. He's got eight kills, man. <laughs> all right, guys, so that is going to bring it to the end of the solo gameplay 20 kill breakdown, man. If you guys want to see me do more of this and you enjoyed it, you got feedback, let me know in the comment section below. This is the first time I've done something like this. So my commentary is going to be off. I'm not going to be mentioning certain things that I probably should have. You know, this is going to be a little bit rusty, but it's my first time. I want to continue doing this. If you guys enjoy it, the next thing I want to do is focusing on wins for solos. 20 kills, pretty good game. I would consider this for the average player a high kill game. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, hit that red sub button down below with post notifications on so you do not miss a video. I'll catch you on the next one. Have a good day, everybody, and I'm out.